<laughs> Welcome to the 31 Nights of Macoween! Every night during the month of October, I will review a scary movie! Come and join if you dare! <laughs> I don't know if you'd noticed this, but everything's been getting worse every second. If we don't do something, we're all gonna be dead. We're gonna get you. Does that sound fine? Rated R. Never mind. Evil Dead is a 2013 American supernatural horror film directed by Fede Alvarez in his feature film direct debut. It's written by Rodo Saigus and Alvarez himself, and produced by Robert Tappert, Sam Raimi, and Bruce Campbell. It is the fourth installment in the Evil Dead franchise. It serves as a soft reboot slash continuation of the original film series. The film stars Jane Levy, Shiloh Fernandez, Lou Taylor Pucci, Jessica Lucas, and Elizabeth Blackmore. The film follows a group of five people being possessed and killed by supernatural entities in a remote cabin in the woods. I love the original Evil Dead from Sam Raimi's direction to the performance of Bruce Campbell. It has become a yearly tradition to watch the original film around Halloween time. And even the sequels are classics and stand the test of time. So when it comes to the 2013 reboot of the film, I have to say that I'm split on how I feel about this film. One half, I think this film is unfairly hated on and is actually quite entertaining. And the other half of me says that this film is the worst entry in the franchise. It tries too hard to one-up the original film. So I'm stuck in the middle on how I feel about this film. What I enjoyed from this film was the performances of Jane was a performance of Jane Levy, the horror and the gore. So notice how I only said Jane Levy was my favorite part of, for the uh, acting category. I say that because while the rest of the cast does a fine job, Jane Levy absolutely carries this film, and every time she's on screen, she gave 110, percent and I loved it. I think she was just absolutely phenomenal for her role in this film, especially being half possessed and half human. I thought that was really, really good. The horror in this film was good also. It blended that cheesy 80s horror that was a big influence on the original films and modernized it, it to fit the horror landscape of the 2010s, which is like dark, broody, and kind of serious. And it does have some cheesy elements to it, but it's a much more darker. And I, I really love that much. And the gore was spectacular. A lot of the gore was practical effects and not that CGI crap. And that gave the film a more authentic tone and really were taking respects from the original film, just using practical effects. Because if you're using buckets of blood, mwah, I love it. It's perfect. Just don't do CGI blood. Practical effects is amazing. The only things I didn't enjoy from this film was the script and the characters. I'll group these two together because they go hand in hand. The script felt a bit light when it came to exploring different things in the story and leaves a lot of stuff up in the air that makes it loose and unstructured. And at least the characters being sort of one dimensional with no death. It's nothing on the actors part. I, like I said before, I think the actors did a fine and even good job with their performances. It's just the script that they were working with. It wasn't good to make them all fleshed out. Everyone just seemed like the one dimensional archetype, stereotype, stereotypical archetype characters in a horror film. And watching them like, when am I watching Cabin in the Woods? Me thinks not. Evil Dead was released on April 5th, 2013, on a budget of $17 million. After its run at the box office, it would go on to gross $97.5 million. Overall, while Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2013 may be written off as a cheap reboot of a classic horror film, it actually does enough to stand out on its own and be a welcome addition to the series. I'm going to give Evil Dead 2013 a 7.5 out of 10.